Civil 3D 2012 includes tools for copying styles and settings from one drawing to another. CAD managers and users can now more easily leverage styles across multiple drawings and projects. In addition to help helping to match corporate standards, these tools can be useful when working with outside contractors in order to meet submittal standards for government clients or other regulating authorities. So what we're going to do in this first demonstration is look how we can copy every style and setting from one template or drawing into our open drawing. The commands we'll be using is under the Manage tab and the Styles panel. So we'll select Import. Once Import selected, we now have an option to pick the drawing or template. And then the Import Civil 3D Styles dialog box will appear with all of the different styles that are found in that source drawing populated. So we can kind of scroll through here, take a look at what's going to be imported, what we have the option of importing or deleting. You'll notice some are grayed out and that means that they are being referenced by another style that you're about to import or a setting you're about to import. You can select all or unselect all using some of the options at the top of the dialog. For our example, we're not going to import any of the settings, and so uh, we want to focus strictly on styles. If you import settings, you'll get all of the settings from the source drawing. It tells me I'm going to import some styles. I select OK, and the import takes place. It tells me how many styles and settings were imported. And then if I want, I can just take a look at some of the different styles that came in to my drawing as a result of this import. So once styles have been imported, we might want to purge some of the styles that are in our drawing. So that's another option we have. So these are styles that are currently not in use. We can use the Shift and Control keys to make our selections a little bit faster. So if I want to select a large group to purge or unpurge. So by saying OK, those styles are now removed from my drawing. So this is another new feature in the 2012 release. Let's look at replacing styles. So if we look at styles that are currently in use, we could replace that style with another style. So we're looking at existing ground right now for a surface style. I'm going to take everything that's using existing ground and change it to use proposed ground tin lines. So you can see the effect of that in the drawing immediately. So just as easy as selecting the style, I can replace it with another style that exists in the drawing. So I can do this with surface styles. I can also do it with something like label styles, as we'll see here. So I'm going to change the spot elevation label style from standard and then just replace it with elevation only. Another new feature that falls into this category is just finding styles that are in use. So, you know, it can be frustrating to see that a style's in use, but you have no idea where it might be used. So again, if I select one of my settings or one of my styles that are in use, I can say find references and a dialog box will show up telling me every place that that style is being used. From here, I can replace single instances of styles. So instead of doing a replace all, I'm going to replace a single instance in this case. So with all of these new styles management tools, CAD managers have more control over the styles and the maintenance and distribution of them. So this will save time and frustration in tasks such as building templates, managing internal CAD standards, and others. Users now will be able to quickly make changes, replace styles, and share useful styles from one drawing to another.